What's going on guys? This is JT here. Welcome back to Skylanders. In this video, we're going to be showcasing the new Skylander Drobot. We're also going to be testing him out, seeing what his skills look like, go over in all the skills as well. But for now, let's go ahead and summon this bad boy. What's up, Drobot? Welcome to the collection, baby. All right, so at level one, we got 46 attack, 16 defense, and 186 HP. Now, I am going to be leveling this bad boy up. No way I'm not. So let's see, how much how much gold should I actually spend on this? I got to at least spend some, right? Let's go ahead and give my man some potions. Because, I mean, we can't showcase. We can't. I don't want to spend all my gold, but we can't showcase a level one. We got to get him, what, to at least level 50, I'm thinking. 1,900 gold. Yeah, let's use some of these big boy potions, too. Yeah, we can get him to level 50, I'm pretty sure, with no problem. There we go, baby. What's up, Drobot? Welcome to level 50, brother. Nice. Got a level 50 Drobot in the house. We're also going to be showcasing him with runes as well. But first, I want to go over his skills. Then we'll do a little bit of gameplay. And then also, we will then um, throw some runes on him. Let me go ahead and power him up as well, because... Why not? The better, the more powered up, the better. Just all in all. And I already got some extra pieces of him, so there we go. Can we get him? No, we can't get him to six star already, right? That'd just be crazy. Tough. No, we can get him to plus five, five star though, which honestly isn't that bad, especially rolling in level 50. We'll take that. All right, so we got him plus five, five star, so not bad. Let's go over his skills. We got quadratic blasters. <laughs> Three mana cost skill, 11 second cooldown. We got fires a laser at the enemy. This attacks inflicts more damage when the target has more debuffs. Very, very, very interesting way to add on damage to a Skylander. I'm a huge fan of this. They keep changing the game up, man. Com to us brings the goods. We don't have any other Skylander in the game that does anything like that. Pretty freaking awesome. Obviously, they do do more damage depending on what buff is on a Skylander, but this one's just, the more the more the buffs the Skylander has, the more damage it's going to do overall. So, I mean, you could run this, curious to run this uh, Skylander with something like a Hex that gives three debuffs, or just there's all kinds of Skylanders out there that gives tons of debuffs, right? So, I also notices, uh, noticed that we got another skill called Blade Gears. It is a one mana cost skill, 15 second cooldown, hurls disc at two enemies, 50% chance to cast defense down, evasion down, and block rate down for one turn on each enemy. Now, this can be upgraded up to 70% chance, which honestly is way better than 50%, no doubt about that. And it's three debuffs, which synergizes super well with my man skill right here, Quadratic Blasters. I mean, if you have three debuffs, probably going to be a little bit more damage. Plus, you can get this skill up 25 more percent, and the cooldown is minus two seconds, so it can be brought down to a nine-second cooldown. We also have a four-mana cost skill, nine-second cooldown, charges at an enemy, lands an additional attack, which ign wait what? Lands an additional attack which ignores the target's defense by 50 percent. If the target has focus aggro, all right. So the target needs to have focus aggro. That seems pretty hard to have make a target have focus aggro, right? Wait a minute. Is there like a focus aggro by no? Well, that's kind of tough, man. Charges at an enemy, lands an additional attack, which ignores the target's defense by 50%, by the way, which is freaking huge. Any That basically means double damage. If the target has focus aggro. All right, I mean, the, what this seems like to me is this would be really good for, let's say, like Arena, running against like Kingpin or something like that. Kingpin has focus aggro. It's going to ignore his defense, which most people do stack defense on Kingpin. That's going to be a ton of damage to him. So, yeah, I don't really know where this is going to shine specifically in, let's say, like uh, just normal gameplay or PvE, rather. I don't know. Where would this shine? I'm trying to think. My head's thinking. It like can't think of where this would shine exactly. What has focus aggro on it? That would be that important to where you'd need to use this skill. I'm not exactly sure. I feel like the 1 and 2 skills are mainly going to be used for PvE, especially since all that damage comes through. And if you use skill 1, you're going to need skill 2 to put in all those additional buffs, right? Not very many Skylanders in this game gives defense down, evasion down, and block rate down. That's just absolutely insane. But then at the same time, 
Imagine if you can get this to proc for the defense down, and then on top of the defense down, you also ignore the target's defense by an additional 50%. That's going to be like, what, 80% defense? Like, I don't know. That just seems absolutely out of this world crazy. We also got the passive hover mode. We got when attacking a defense type enemy. Okay, so this is all about, this Skylander is all about attacking something with defense. No doubt about that. We got attack increase by 4% during the round. So that can be raised up to a total of 8%. Seems a little bit low, but still pretty high. I mean, uh, still pretty good. Not pretty high. Seems a little bit low, but still seems pretty high. Like, what? That didn't make sense. No. Seems pretty low, but still seems pretty good considering all these other defense type mechanics that are going to raise the damage uh, a ton by my boy Drobot whenever he is attacking defensive targets. We also got his leader skill, which is on all allies, increases their attack by 15% while in duels. Wow, so maybe they focus Drobot to be like uh, an arena. I don't know. Are, they, do they think that people are using uh, Kingpin a lot in arena? I guess so, because, man, this guy seems awfully focused directly towards him, obviously towards other ones as well. I mean, this guy would be really good against killing the uh, Gulper. <laughs> the uh, Gulper, what are these? Companion? No, not Companion. What do they call these guys? God, God, what do they call these freaking things? Not Companions, are they? What are these bad boys called? Now I'm just losing my freaking mind. It's driving me crazy. I can't even figure out what these things are called. Oh, well, I'm just going to skip over. I'm going to call them the Companion for now. But I, are they called Companions? No, it's the other game I play where they're called Companions. What are these freaking things called? I don't know. I can't think of the correct name. Idiot, JT. All right, so let's go ahead and get into Drobot skills and see what kind of damage this bad boy does. Like I said, got him to level 50. Already got him plus 5 as well. Where should we bring him in? He does shine against magic. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be taking on, like, anything crazy in the magic department, but let's go ahead and, ooh, I want to test him out kind of with Hex, too, man, with all those extra debuffs. Yeah, we got to test him out with Hex. We might as well. well. We'll see his basic base damage, and then we'll test him out with Hex right quick and see what kind of damage. Oh, yeah, they are called Companions. JT, you're just straight tripping. All right, yeah, they're Companions. All right, so where's my boy at? Control by Trey Chill. Alright, what's up, Drobot? What skills should we go with? We should go with these two skills because I feel like these are two these are the two skills that are mainly gonna be used, especially in PvE, no doubt about that. As far as PvE goes, probably Thuster Fighter would be used a little bit more often. So let's go ahead and start this fight and see what kind of damage we got coming out straight off from Drobot. Alright, so let's go ahead and use this, see if we can get the attack. It it didn't proc on anybody with the fifty percent, so that's kinda of sad. I'm gonna take it off of auto. Just so I attack the same two. Let's go ahead and go over here to the left side. Left side. Can we get a proc? 50% chance. And yes, we got the proc on both of them. I wonder if it's 50% for each one. So that attack for 428 there with the buff. Let me see how much this attack for. So it's 428 with the buff. Without the buff, it is 279. So as you can see right there, pretty big difference in damage. No doubt about that. All right. So let's go ahead and back out. With the buff, it was... What's the total damage? 428, I believe. I just want to quickly add my boy Hex to the lineup so then we can see what the damage is with like an insane amount of debuffs, right? All right, so let's go back into seven. Let's throw Hex in the lineup. Now, Hex is going to be negative, which is actually a good thing because Hex won't kill everything right away, right? All right, so let's go ahead and use Hex's skill right here. Go ahead and get debuffs on all these guys. And on top of that, oh, these debuffs are only going to be for one turn, right? Hmm, that's kind of tough. So, let's see. What do we got? We got 345 on that right there with some random debuffs. So, not really much of an increase with that. Let's see. What do we got here? We got... Can we get any extra buffs? We did. Oh, my gosh. We got four debuffs on this hero right here. 556. So, definitely raise the damage up quite a bit with those extra debuffs. I'd say each extra debuff as on base stats looks like it's somewhere around like... 120, 130 damage, I think, is what that uh, was. I mean, obviously, this isn't a lot of testing, but what I just saw firsthand. All right, so let's go ahead and back out, and let's throw some runes on this bad boy. All right, let's throw some runes on him, boys. Let's throw some runes on him. All right, I'm just going to switch over some of the runes off of one of my big boy characters. I mean, not really, not really focusing anything specific. Just going to go ahead and switch. Who do I have attack runes actually even on i think igniter has yeah igniter has quite a bit of attack runes we'll just go ahead and put all my igniter runes on to my boy drobot and we'll get some attack on them i think i have a full strike set on igniter as well oh we got effect accuracy all right whatever i ain't worried about it we're just gonna switch all of them that way it doesn't get confusing to me whenever i want to switch all these runes back all right so as for stats on drobot now we got 
7,555 attack. We got 1,300, basically 1,400 defense. We got 6,303 HP, 55 crit rate, and 153 crit damage. All right, let's go ahead and get in and see what my boy's doing now for DPS. We'll just go right back into, yeah, we'll just go into this right here. We'll go back into V7. All right, so let's go ahead and use, I want to use the Reign of Skulls again because that's just so many debuffs, and go ahead and use it. So we got a 3,500 crit there from, oh, all right, actually, I messed that, I messed that attack up. I wanted to use the other skill, to be honest, first, while we had all of those debuffs on them. Yeah, we got to use this skill once we get all the debuffs. All right, so we got to use Hex's skill, get all the debuffs. Now use this boy's first skill right here. And 1,300 on that attack? I'd say that was pretty solid. Let's go ahead and give... Go ahead and give this guy an attack with the project guys. All right, so that was 1,200. Let's go ahead and use this other skill. So what do we got? We got 3,600 on the crits. Not too bad. I mean, 3,600 on crits, definitely pretty solid. You're going to definitely want to put the debuffs on first because that just raises the amount of damage. Unfortunately, we didn't get the proc. It's only a 50% chance to add the extra chance of the debuffs. So pretty weak all in all. All right, so now we got the boss coming out. Let's go ahead and try to debuff the boss, which we were not able to do. Sad times. So let's go ahead and hit him with the Quadrant Blasters. That's 890 damage. Not too bad. I mean, not too bad. What do we got coming from this? We got Blade Gears. Give me the debuff. Nope, still. 0 for 2 on the buff, boys. 0 for 2 on the buff. Not bad, though. My little Drobite can come through and solo the boss. That's what we like to see. We do have some pretty beast runes on my boy Drobot as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, actually, this isn't B7. I'm completely tripping. This is uh, Magic 7. I don't know why I called this B7 earlier. I'm like, oh yeah, let's go into B7. Made a couple mistakes in this video, but sorry, boys. All right, so let's go ahead and back out. Is there anything else we wanted to learn from Drobot? I don't really feel like doing too much more tests. I just wanted to see what his skills look like. I do want to test out before I end the video his other skill. So yeah, let's go ahead and get back into Magic. We'll just go into Magic Dungeon 8 this time. Let's take away the Hex just because we don't really need Hex. And let's go ahead and remove this skill and bring in... Thuster Flight. Curious to see how much damage. Actually, you know what? Let's fight B7 again because I'm pretty sure that the boss might be considered a defense type. I'm not 100% sure about that, but it might be. So, did that change the skill, actually? Yeah, Thuster Flight. Whoa! Wow! 5,800 damage on that shot, right? That wasn't bad, dude. 9,000 on the crit? Okay, okay. We're talking pretty serious damage from my boy right here. Now, that's probably a defense type right there in the middle, I would guess. Let me see. So, that, this guy might be defense type as well, I would assume. Because he is, like, his name's Shieldbreaker, right? Thuster Fight coming in for a 6,000 damage hit. Not bad. All right. Now, we're about to see how much damage it does against this boss right here. What do we got? We got 872 with three. Oh! Wow. Is that an extra... Wait a minute. Did he have focus aggro? Why did we get that? We just one-shot the Magic 7 boss. Did No way. Let me check what this Magic 7 boss does. Because that extra hit proc, And that's only supposed to proc whenever it has focus aggro, if I'm not mistaken. Let me double check that and reread this skill. Alright, we got Drobot. Where are you at, Drobot? Alright, we got Drobot right here. So the skill reads, charges at an enemy, lands an additional attack, which ignores the target's defense by 50% if the target has focus aggro. Yeah, I mean, the target definitely, or I don't know if the target had focus aggro, but he definitely got an extra hit right there. Let me see. Does this target get focus aggro on him? Let's see. Where's the boss at? Which one of these guys is the boss? This guy right here is the boss, right? Yeah. That's the main boss. Does he have focus aggro? He definitely has, ignores target's defense. We got stun all enemies. Attacks an enemy defeated. He doesn't have focus aggro, though. Attacks anything in the vicinity. Hmm. That's interesting. Why did he just lay off that? All right, fine. I got to do this one more time just to test this out. Uh, I forgot to go at 3x speed. We need to get back out of this just because it's going to be too slow. Might as well test this one more time. Why not? Doing a little bit of testing. I'm actually curious myself. That boss must have some sort of focus aggro because otherwise that wouldn't have worked, right? I don't think anyway. All right, let's get in. So let's go ahead and use second skill. Come on strong with 6,000 damage. Not bad. I mean, in either one of these skills, are basically one shot with all these runes on there. His damage is pretty solid, in my opinion. Definitely solid damage. No doubt about that. 9,200 on the crit. We got another 
multiple thousand damage strike. I think, what is that? Is that three hits? It's at least two hits. Pretty sure that's three hits coming in from that other attack, though. Buster Flight, another 9,000 crit. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out this. Is it going to do... No, it didn't do the second attack. I mean, focus aggro. Can it be an offensive focus aggro? Like, would it work from... It wouldn't work from Gulper's attack, right? Like, if we have... Maybe I'm reading this wrong. If we have something with focus aggro, does this ability actually work? Now I gotta actually test this out one more time. I need to test this out on a little bit higher of a stage though, so we don't one shot. We'll just go into Magic Dungeon 9 and let's test this out here. If we get focus aggro from our gulper, is that then going to... All right, so I'm gonna use gulper skill right here. And then I'm gonna use the focus aggro right here and see if we get an additional attack. Cause we still got focus aggro and yes! Wow, so you just need focus aggro on yourself. Not actually focus aggro. That is crazy. All right, so I like the way I like the way this skill works a lot better now that uh, that I know you just need focus aggro on yourself. That is pretty interesting, man. That's pretty crazy. All right, let me go ahead and test this one more time just to double check. All right, we'll bring Gopher out. We we'll use the focus aggro. All right, Gopher, Gopher has focus aggro. Now we're using the skill right here. Here it comes Thuster Fight and no additional attack. Did my Gopher have focus aggro? I'm pretty sure he did, right? I mean, did I use Gopher's skill right there? All right, hold on, man. I'm sorry, guys. I got to freaking redo this. Because I could have sworn I saw an additional attack come from that Thuster right there at first. But then the second time I just ran it, ran it, it didn't seem like it attacked. Is there an actual percent base on this for the extra attack? Oh, it's a 50% chance. Lands an additional target, which ignores it. Oh, no, no, it isn't. Yeah. The target has focused aggro, it charges it, and lends an additional attack no matter what. Or does it just have a 50%? Man, I'm confused by how the skill lands an additional attack, which ignores the target's defense by 50% if the target has focused aggro. The target has to have focus aggro, right? If the target has focus aggro. Yeah, not you. It wouldn't make sense for Gulper to have focus aggro. How come this attack's work? Is this attack like. Is it not reading right? Because I could have sworn we got that additional attack on some of these attacks right here. Yeah. Oh, no. That ain't an additional attack. That was Quadric Blasters, actually. Oh, okay. Maybe I've just been tripping this whole time and Quadric Blasters actually auto queued and didn't actually do anything at all. I think that's actually what happened. Yeah, that was not... Oh, my gosh. That's epic fail, boys. That's epic fail. All right. So, yeah, it does. The target needs to have focus aggro, clearly. That's what it reads. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Overall, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Drobot. I think he brings something new and different to the table. No doubt about that. Also, his skills look pretty freaking beast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I am out of here for now. Peace out.